Next question, question 27. A bell rings every 18 minutes. A second bell rings every 24 minutes. A third bell rings every 32 minutes. If all the three bells ring at the same time at 8 o'clock in the morning, at what other time will they all ring together? So, it is a classic case where we can use LCM to find the common time at which all the three bells ring together. So, here, LCM of 18, 24 and 32 will give the the common minute at which all the three bells ring together so here you can see if you this is 18 to 4 uh, which is all twos so entire 32 will be there in the lcm and here it is 6 into 4 so there is one 3 additional so here it is 9 into 2 so there is 9 additional so 32 into 9 is the LCM so which is um, 18 1 uh, 9 into 3 28 so 20 is um, uh, 60 if you convert this into hours this is uh, if you divide by so 288 minutes by 60 so which is um, let's so we, we can say 4 is gives 240 so 4 hours and uh, then 240 so 48 minutes 48 minutes so it was 8 in the morning plus 4 hours gives 9 10 11 12 12 48 is the next time at which the all the three bells ring together so the correct answer here is b answer b so in case if you are not familiar with the concept of lcm i'll just explain it quickly so here uh, it was said the first bell ring after 18 minutes so 18 into 1 is the first uh, the first bell rings after 18 minutes then 18 into 2 then 18 into 3 like this it goes similarly second bell rings after 24 so 24 so it next next it uh, rings at 24 into 2 then 24 into 3 similarly it goes at third bell rings at 32 then 32 into 2 32 into 3 right it like it goes so at some point say at some time some 18 into n say 18 into m or something or um, 24 into p and at some 32 into q say at some time all these three will be equal all these three will be equal and that is the time at which every bill rings together so we f just found out that that is 288th minute 288 uh, so 288th minute they will all ring together so for 18 uh, it, it it is 9 into 2 so 32 uh, gives 1 16 so 16th so 18 into 16 right which is that uh, this m is so we don't know that when we don't know that uh, what we do is find lcm the lcm of uh, a b c if is p say if lcm of a b c is p what does this mean p is p will be p is the smallest number that is divisible by both a b and c so p p divides with a and p divides with b and p divides with c and p is such p is a, p is the smallest number that that can be divided with a b and c so that is the same number that we are looking for here so if this is p that means this will be p this will be p since p divides with 18 p divides with 24 and p divides with 32 we are not worried about the same p and q we just want the our p to divide with 18 24 and 32 if all that 
is satisfied then this is the p, p p is the number we are looking for okay um so yeah p will be in both uh, all three uh in all these three rows so um that is why we uh, we just took lcm of 18 24 and 32 so that number which is which we got as 288 this 288 will be will be is the smallest number that that is common in all these three rows so it divides with 18 and divides with 24 and divides with 32 that is why we use the concept of lcm i hope that is clear now why we used lcm okay anyway that is the solution to question 27 Also, if you are not familiar with uh, finding out the LCM, say here it is 18, 24 and 32, uh, we can just factorize it. So uh, here it is 3 into 3 into 2 for 18 and 6 into 4 becomes 3 into 2 into 2 into 2. Similarly, for 32, it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 2, 4, 8, 8 into 2, 16, 16 into 2, 32. So this is how factorize. Now to find the LCM, uh, we take um, from each number, um, we will take each factor if it is not, uh, if we haven't already taken uh, that. So example is we take 3, now we take 3 and 2. So, Next, we take when we consider this, this 3 is already there. So we skip that. So 1, 2 is already there. So we skip that also. Then another 2 is coming. So we will take 2 and another 2 is coming. So we will take that also. So now here when you go to this, uh, two, 2 is already there. We skip. Another 2 is already there. We skip. So another 2 is already there. We skip. And there are 2 more 2's which we take. So 2 into 2. So this will be the LCM. So which is uh, 9, 3 into 3, 9, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 32, 9 into 32, which is what we wrote earlier here. This is the LCM. So this is how you f find LCM if you are unfamiliar with this. So yeah, just want to share that also. So yeah, so that is the solution to question 27, option B.